Hello, my students. How are you? Uh, my third grade students. We are in unit 10. Our lesson title, you must sit down. Uh, from the previous period, في الحصة الماضية قرأنا الدرس واستخرجنا أحرف الجر الأفعال الصفات تعرفنا على العيلة طلعين على الرحلة شفنا وادي رم مع بعض I explain the use of the model must أنا شرحت لكم كمان عن استخدامات الموديل اللي هو must يجب uh, and I told you that uh, after must we put infinitive verb now I will explain it for you we use the model verb must to express obligation to do something أنا مستخدم الفعل يجب must للتعبير عن الإجبار للقيام بشيء ما For example You must drink milk يجب عليك أن تشرب الحليب هلأ ملاحظين أنه بعد must بيجي الفعل مجرد بدون أي إضافات We should put the verb after must uh, infinitive without any addition Okay Number two, you must clean our teeth every day. We must clean our teeth. Number two, we must clean our teeth every day. Number three, you must study hard. Number four, we must go to school. هلا ملاحظين هنا الأفعال كلها. كيف اجت بعد الـ بعد الموديل ماست بتيجي مجردة بدون اي اضافات تمام now in negative form في صيغة النفي we use mustn't number one you mustn't eat a lot of sweet لا يجب عليك ان تأكل الكثير من الحلوى Number two, you mustn't play with knife. يجب لا يجب عليك أن تلعب بالسكينة. Number three, you mustn't drink cola water. Number three, you mustn't drink cold water. لا يجب عليك أن تشرب ماء بارد. Uh, the same thing after mustn't the verb becomes what without addition becomes without addition like eat like play like drink ما أضفنا إلهم لا إس ولا أي إنجي ولا أي شيء بضل الفعل مثل ما هو مجرد هاي قاعدة يعني مهمة جدا uh, حتى لو كان الفاعل هنا شيء مع must ما منحط ال s أو e s للفعل حتى لو كان he مع وجود ال must الفعل بيبقى مثل ما هو Now my students open your pupils book page number 39 look at exercise 2 look and say انظر وقول We have here five photos Okay And look at uh, this wrong and right هلا في العلامة X انه لازم نستخدم مصنت العلامة الصح انه لازم نستخدم must إنه لا يجب عليه أن يفعل ذلك ويجب عليها أن تفعل ذلك okay now look at the first photo you mustn't run in the classroom 
طبعا ما بيصير انه يركض بالغرفة الصفية لا يجب عليه so we write you mustn't run in the classroom number two look she must drink milk every day يجب ان تشرب الحليب كل يوم number three They must wear their hat. يجب أن يلبس يرتدوا قبعاتهم. Number four, she must put it in the bin. يجب وضعها في القمامة. Or she must put the rubbish in the bin. القمامة. The last photo, he mustn't shout. تمام. That's it. Exercise three. Say, listen, and tick or cross. Tick, يعني ضع صح. Cross, يعني ضع خطأ. Okay. Uh, now, look at these photos. Describe what can you see. He tidies his room. And look here, the girl is helping her mom. Here, the boy go to his bed at eight o'clock early. And look at this girl, she's shouting. Now, I'm going to read uh, sentences for you. Um, take the box if you hear uh, must and put a cross if you hear mustn't okay يعني إذا سمعتوني بحكي must uh, take بتحطوا صح إذا سمعتوني بحكي mustn't بتحطوا خطأ listen carefully you must tidy your bedroom You must tidy your bedroom. So, we should put tick or cross. Of course, tick. I said, you must tidy your room. Okay, number two. You must help your mother. You must help your mother. So, you must hear but tick. Number three. You must go to bed at eight o'clock. Look at this clock. Eight o'clock. It's early, so you must go to bed. We should put take here. The last photo. You mustn't shout. You mustn't shout. So we put cross for this photo because I said. Mustn't. Is that clear? And that's for today, my lovely students. Thanks for listening to me, and goodbye.